is Relax and Paint. Good morning. I'm excited to have you on today. There's some fun painting I've been doing. I've been adding more than once a week, so I'm hoping you're enjoying that. We're going to take a deep breath this morning. We're still um, quarantined with the um, coronavirus. I hope in a few months that you're seeing this and you go, what virus are you talking about? I don't think we'll ever forget it. But I'm very grateful to have this opportunity to be sharing something from my heart with you guys, from my hands actually. But it's, it's things that I love and I like to paint. One of the things I'm gonna work on today is something that I add to a lot of flowers. So I hope that um, you enjoy these as much as I enjoy them. So let's get started. We're painting butterflies today, all right? So let's look, let's go to my overhead camera so we can get really close. <sighs> Take a deep breath. And I hope if you can't do this with me right now that you're sitting there relaxing and watching and maybe you'll come back a little bit later and paint with me. All right. So the first thing I wanted to do is I want to get some colors, some colors that I think that you will like. And some of these are... Purple, purple and aqua and some other shades, okay? So I've already had some pink out because I was painting. So let me put some purple. And I have some neon purple too. Where did my neon go? All right. There's some blues. All right, let's just use um, some Cayman blue. Some bright blues. And we have white, and we want some yellow. All right, I'm gonna put out some neon, neon too. I probably should, it's nice to paint these on a black surface, and I'll show you why later. All right, so we've got magenta and bright pink. All these are multi-surface paints, which they have a sealer in it, which means that you can put them indoor, outdoor, glass, ceramic, metal. And then uh, I have all this heavy green there, excuse that. I just realized I'm not gonna even probably be using that. Okay, so, so I'm gonna start with a 16. And I'm gonna start with some, maybe I'll do a smaller brush. All right, so if I start with an eight or a 10, let me show you the first butterflies I would do usually. Um, I would start with yellow and white, and I'm worried you're not going to see. I don't know what I was thinking, so let me get some blue. Would that help? There we go. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to say here's the head. One little dot, I don't think I made it so you can see it, but I'm going to bring everything to that head. Okay, now, so let's get a little bit closer. So I'm going to start here, push down, and stand up by coming to a point. All right, that's actually one of my leaf leaves. Push, lots of pressure, stand up, and raise to a point. So now, see, I'm coming back here. I've got plenty of yellow, but I'm making sure there's white on the one edge because I'm going to start right here, push again, and stand up with the white edge overlapping the other one and come over to the head. Then I'm going to do little petal strokes like daisy strokes. And there's the two wings, I mean bottom wings. Okay, so look, you can also push and come here knowing that your head's right there. Okay, push and lift, push and lift. And that's an open butterfly, okay? So I'll show you about adding the body in just a minute. I'm gonna go to a bigger brush. Those are, those are just little simple, simple butterflies, all right? And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put my script liner body in here. And that's where I'm using the green. I don't like to use black, it's too harsh. 
for, I like to paint on black, but I don't want black for the body. The greens usually in my picture if I'm doing flowers. Now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay it down here for the body, and then we're gonna lift it to a point. Then we're gonna touch and lift, touch the tip and lift to get the antennas. So let's try here, push and then lift. All right, now we're gonna touch here just the tip and we're gonna come over here, touch and come over. So that's just a couple little butterflies. Now you can make another stroke like I'm going to do magenta and white. See the magenta and white. Let me put it up here. And then I can even grab some yellow. Now watch this butterfly. I'm going to push it down. Let's go slow. And we wake off. Okay. Every once in a while I get carried away when I'm excited and I forgot that we're trying to be quiet and peaceful. Now here's my head, remember? So I'm gonna come right in here, that's the back wing, and there's the front wing. All right, and it's ruffled. And then we can come out and in, overlap it, and in. Isn't that pretty? And you saw it wasn't too difficult. I've enjoyed my relax and paints, and I hope you have. Um, I always like to ask you, what would you like to see next? All right, there's the body. And then you want to touch and then lift. Touch and lift. So sometimes I cross them over each other. See the different ones I've shown you? All right, this one got too watery. See? So that one crosses over the first one. So watch. I got a shadow there. I don't want that shadow there. Touch and lift. Touch gets it heavier instead of putting little dots. You can put little dots. See how it crosses over? Or you can touch and pull in, touch and pull in, like I did. You can also put a dot and then pull, a dot and then pull on a head. I just said bumblebees. Y'all gonna check out the bumblebees. Okay, so then you can make curls. One, two, three. Make a curl. Now the body is push, push, push down on the whole 12. I mean, two script liner and then lift. All right. The other way I do the big center antennas is I come this way and then pull in. Or I do two of them like this. All right, so I hope that helps you a little bit. You can also accent these guys by putting big yellow dots or white dots. You can always add more to each one of these. I also, let me, if I wash off the screen, I pick the white and I can make commas in here. Push and then lift. And I push, lift, push, lift. Isn't that kind of nice? Just adding little details. Are you liking them? So I'm being a tease. <laughs> Let me show you. All right. So I have a little trick to show you. It's easy to do side view um, butterflies. So I'm going to pick up my pink, uh, neon and magenta. Oops, I got the medium running. Then I'm going to pick up some white. More paint, more white. I can get some medium then if I want. Okay, so I want you to see that I'm going to come here 
and go to a point. Now here's where my body is. And I did a lot of these with face painting because I put this on both sides of the nose. <laughs> the nose is in the middle. And this goes over the eye of the child that I'm painting or the adult. Okay, so then I'm going to come down here and do the second side. Are you with me? If you're going to do this with me, you get all your supplies. Don't be like the teacher and don't have everything here. And then you try the each stroke, turn it off and try the next stroke. And turn it on and off till you get all that. Okay. So. So really, this was supposed to be like the back one. Okay, I dipped it for some reason. Okay, there's that wing. Okay. Now, we're going to come in here and side load some white. I mean, yellow, excuse me. It's got white on it. All right, so I'm going to come back to the body. And I'm going to go one, two, three. And then we come right here and bring this over. Now, if you wanted a second wing back there, you should have done it before we put this on. But we can always go back. Let me show you. I can come right here. Oh, and come right here to a point. And then this is underneath. Then we come back. I don't want to confuse you. I just want to show you how I fix something. If I decided, oh, I, I think I want a wing on top. Then I go like this. This one's going to be on top. And then, <clears throat> then this one comes back like this. All right, so that's the back wing. I think I need to emphasize that more. There you go. It's easier to put it on before. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't you like it when I don't do it perfect? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to come back here. There we go. I use white to outline it later, too. All right. Now, what's going to happen? is a couple things to finish them off to make them really amazing. One is that, let me get my green, and I'm going to pick up with my liner, the dark green. I'm going to put his head right here, put his body, and then bring it across. Okay, so on him, I did touch, bring it, touch, I used to have all kinds of whimsical children's fabric, and I had a lot of butterflies on those. All right, so I am going to do a couple of things with my liner. First of all, I'm going to get my smaller brush. I hope you're liking this. It's a good way to wake up in the morning and create and see something creative, right? I'm going to put white and yellow. This is daffodil, daffodil yellow. All right, so I can come right here and make a comma. Push, stand up, stand up. And I need that to get really fine. Comma stroke. All right, I'm going to come right in here and do a big white loop. Okay, in the middle. And then I can come in here. And do on a hot pink loop. Okay, a little bit of pink there. And I come back and put some white there again. All right. 
No, I'm gonna pick up some yellow and pink and push, lift, push, lift. Okay, so you're just getting some little accents in here and I can take some green with a little bit of yellow and bring a little bit of yellow in here. Just a little bit. All right, so before I put some dots in here, I am going to show you, oops, I need more white. My white is almost gone. Thank you for being on with me for Relax and Paint. We're growing series so that you can go, and I, I love that I can tell people, go to my Relax and Paint and watch my, my butterflies. Oh, go and watch that rose, the center of the rose. It's going to help you. Okay, now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to come along here with my liner. You see my little finger? Oh, no, you didn't see that at all. Sorry. I came along here. And my little finger is down holding me steady. And I come around. So then I would come there. If you're doing my live online classes with me, you would be saying, you're off the camera. Okay. See these little liner? You make it inky with a little bit of water. Then you use your little finger. And then you're going to come around. Let me get some more white. One, two. This two script liner is wonderful from following behind you and getting all that detail. Now then I would come right here and come over. See how that starts really giving a dimension? I also come in here and I use licorice. Oops, see my finger hit right there. I can come in here and add more. Okay. So I do the same thing with licorice sometime. So I like to come in here and do a little curl. I did, just imagine me doing this on a face. And I do all these extra little curls. And I take these little commas all the way down the neckline. <laughs> all right. So, and, and we also can go in here and touch this little tail. Oops, you all can't see that. I sputter it. All right. And then I take and do white dots. Dot, 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 dot. And the more I dot, the smaller it gets. See that? I dip, dip, dot, dip. And I dot, 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 dot. Okay. And then butterflies lots of times have a yellow or a white dot right here. Or you can do black. Okay, so what I want to do, I want you to try to do butterflies in all different colors. So I have a stroke study that I just, I think you'll really like. So I'm gonna take a minute and show you because so many people have been asking me for butterflies that I thought I'm gonna show you my butterflies and maybe get you excited. Okay, so doing the exact strokes I just did there, I want you to see, Oop, without the glare. Okay, maybe. <laughs> all right, so let me hold it up. So there's all kinds of different colors there. See how I use some fall colors and some pretty reds? Look at that. Can you see each stroke I did? And then I took the liner brush and brought the black out right in here. Like I brought the black in all these centers. Can you see that? I have them in protective sheets. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see, and then I did these smooth and then I ruffled those on the inside. Okay, so that's kind of like the one I just did. 
right? There's the ones I was showing you earlier, different colors. Now look, in the same thing, doing some of the same strokes, we have dragonflies where I use metallic, and then ladybugs and bumblebees. I kept on ladybugs. I have flying ones. I have little ones. Sorry. Maybe if I leave it right there, you all can see better. Okay, so this was a whole study. Oops. Uh, butterflies and dragonflies. And <laughs> these are some birds we did. How to do birds. Y'all did hummingbirds with me, I think. Bluebirds and hummingbirds. And showing you more realistic birds. Hydrangeas y'all been doing with me. So these are different stroke studies. I just thought I'd show you that um, I concentrate on one thing and we do the whole study on leaves and pansies and flowers. These are uh, flowers and leaves too where I'm doing more difficult blossoms. Or, and then the rose one was the most popular ever. Isn't that kind of fun? I'm just having fun showing off a little bit. But wasn't, I mean, I love this, just the blues and the leaves and the blues are in the flowers. And look at the purple one. Look at all those little slashes. It's just the back side of the rose. And then how to do, I don't know if you can see this good, this how to do American Beauty Rose. It does not show well that way. I have to pull it out. I'm sorry. I want you to see, like how rich that looks. And so we're using dark green on the inside, sap green, do you believe that? And it looks like a rose. Okay, so step by step, irises. There, did you know there were so many irises? Simple, fun, different, look at that. Okay, so just wanted to share my flowers and leaves, the first stroke study. You're learning all of these flowers in it. And then all of those leaves, fern and leaves, simple ones. Okay, and that's in the first stroke study. And then those flowers. Okay, so I hope I inspired you with butterflies today and insects. And um, try some butterflies, see if you like them, all right? They really accent a flower painting. All right, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful week. See you next week.